Hello, this is Teresa Baker, and I'm going to talk to you today about REDCap's data resolution workflow. REDCap has a feature called the data resolution workflow that is used to manage and document the resolution of data issues. So if there's any issues with a data value in your project, you could open a query and then someone else can come and respond to the query to investigate the issue. And after all of it's been resolved, uh, you can close the issue. So to start with, you're going to go to your project setup page and you're going to look for additional customizations. By default, in the enabled field comment log and data resolution workflow for data queries, it will automatically be set to field comment. Here you can enable data resolution workflow by selecting data resolution workflow. There are more details on what this means and how it would work. But the first thing you need to do after you have an enabled data resolution workflow is you have to go to the user rights and you need to change to make sure that the user rights for the person are have the ability to open and close queries. So let's go to user rights. We edit the privileges of the user. And we see now that there is a new section underneath our optional privileges here that allows for data resolution workflow. You can have no access or view only access. You can open queries, respond to queries. You can open and respond to queries, or you can do it all by open, close, and respond to queries. Let's select that one. This added a bubble to each of my data elements. Let's take a look. I now have a new bubble here. Next to each one, there's view the data history. There is mark a field as missing. And now I have a bubble that says view data resolution workflow. It will tell me the date of the person and user that put data in and what that data was originally selected as. Here you can verify a data value. If I try to verify a data value that has nothing done to it, it will automatically resolve itself with a checkbox. And data verified will give a certificate or a stamp underneath the comments and details. If I come back and I decide to de-verify a value, I can do that too. But in order to do that, I need to put a comment. Why am I saying this value is wrong? Now I have an explanation point. I can also open a query and say, why is this wrong? And I can assign it to a specific user. I can email that user or I can send them a message in REDCap Messenger. You can now see that that query has a question waiting to be answered. It is turned orange. When I go to respond, I can say, what it is that happened, or I can give any information that might go along with it. I can upload a source document that may have been paper or from another source. I can say what I did to it, and I can close my query. Let's open one more query. We now have one data point 
that has not been resolved and one that is resolved. The next thing that we might want to be able to do is we might want to be able to see all the things that are going on with our queries. Under our applications bar, there is now a spot for us to look at this. Next to data quality, there's a spot that says resolve issues. Let's start by checking out data quality. When I look in data quality, there are tabs up here, resolve issues and resolution matrix. If I look under resolve issues, it says that there is one issue that is currently open, a query that's open and has not been resolved. If I have multiple, they would be listed here. I can come in here and say, this is the record. This is the value in the field. This is who it belongs to or is assigned to. And I can even see a list of the comments. Perhaps I might want to export this. I can also look here under resolution matrix to see how many are queries that have been opened for each site or each DAG, or how many have been closed, or how long it takes for them to be opened or closed or responded to. And I can even look at it by the number of users. There's all kinds of information that is very helpful for managing your data quality, utilizing the data resolution workflow. There's additional videos that are available on this page and additional information. Enjoy.